and I just wanted to see some justice served. I wanted to, to, to see Connor Grubb pay for what he did. Now at five, the family of a woman shot and killed by police continue to call for justice. Today, a grand jury indicted Blendon Township Police Officer Connor Grubb and the death of Takaya Young. Officers tried to stop the pregnant 21 year old while she was in her car last August. Kroger employees told officers that she stole several bottles of alcohol. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Yolanda Harris. Now this is a story we've been following since the day it happened tonight. 10 TV's Kevin Landers is live from that Kroger and Kevin, you talked to the family today after the news of this indictment came down. What did they have to say about it? Well, Takaya Young's grandmother says she wants more than a conviction in this case. She wants to see reform in terms of the way police use deadly force, which is what happened in this parking lot behind me. In their mind, people who shoplift should not end up with a death sentence. I want him to see my eyes and see my heart and see what I feel and see if he even got a heart. A grieving grandmother says she looks forward to the day when she can look into the eyes of Blendon Township Police Officer Connor Grubb as he stands trial for her granddaughter's death. Then, then get out. A grand jury says Officer Grubb committed murder when he shot Young in August of last year. Ultimately, a jury will decide at trial if that's true. Young was six months pregnant at the time of her death. The grand jury also charged the officer with the murder of her unborn child. Before the shooting, a Kroger employee flagged down two officers in the parking lot who were there on an unrelated matter about multiple people fleeing from the store with stolen items. One of them was Young. Young was in a vehicle when the officers told her to get out but refused. One of the officers was standing in front of the vehicle when Young put the car in gear and accelerated toward him. The officer fired his weapon through the windshield, striking Young. And she said, are you going to shoot me? And she cruised real slow in that car, turned to the right away from him and then he still jumped in front of the car, jumped on the car and shot her. A car can be used as a deadly weapon and police guidelines say they may use only the force that is objectively reasonable to effectively gain control of an incident. There are scenarios where a car can be a deadly weapon. Absolutely, this was not one of those scenarios. The grand jury agreed charging Officer Grubb with four counts of murder, four counts of felony assault and two counts of involuntary manslaughter. I wanted to, to, to see Connor Grubb pay for what he did. Now, this indictment brings the total number of members of the Fraternal Order of Police charged with murder to four. Grubb faces a judge tomorrow morning. Reporting live in, off Sunbury Road, Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. All right, thank you, Kevin. Well, the Blendon Township Police Chief released a statement after the indictment. He said, in part, importantly, no one at Blendon Township has passed any judgment on whether Officer Grubb acted within the law. However, since people who've been indicted may not legally possess a firearm, the indictment against him leaves us with no choice but to begin the disciplinary process.